Happy New Year. Shelby and I mm -hmm. are at this RV park called Alaskan. Mm -hmm. I think R mm -hmm. RV Alaskan Park. But it is lovely. The people here are very friendly. It's very clean. Let me give you a little mm. a little mm. view. That's our um our section right here, tent number one. Well we stayed here last night. We stayed in our vehicle, but that was our location if we wanted to tent out. Mm. There's the other tents. Mm. And we have oh, we have so many RVs. I mean, there's some huge RVs out here. I mean, mm. there's Shelby. Mm. There's the pool mm. over there. It's closed for the winter. Mm. And there are your RVs. Yeah, it's called Alaskan. We're here in Texas, uh, Al Alpine, Texas. Mm. It is funny to find an mm. RV park called Alaskan, but um, it's nice. And and Shelby and I, we're well, it's early in the morning. This is January the second. Happy New Year's, everyone! And we um, we we just got up. We're showered and dressed and everything, ready to start our day. And yesterday was we had a great first first of first day of the year. Um, yesterday Shelby and I we um we just cruised around relaxing. We had dinner at Pizza Hut. We um when at nighttime we we saw um we drove around to see the Christmas lights and the courthouse here is dressed up in Christmas lights very beautifully and before we turn in for the night we stopped at a, a nail spa where I had a manicure a very needed manicure I wasn't sure about what the prices were so I wanted to find out what the prices were before you know I committed to anything and, it, you know, it's just funny, you know, I get kind of nervous when people are slow to tell me the price. And then, um, you know, I used to think, well, okay, where is the mail? I mean, it's a language barrier, and maybe they don't quite understand me. But over the years, especially um, near Mexico, I realized that people pretend like they don't speak English um, conveniently sometimes. But I found out what the prices were. Um, I don't know what nationality they were. Um, you know, a lot of Americans, you know, we assume that people are Chinese or Japanese or whatever, and they turn out to be Korean or whatever. But they were very nice people. Um, a manicure. Oh, what was the name of the place? Oh, wait a minute. I'll probably give you a video about the name of the nail, so, um, the nail spa later. But the manicures were only $15 for a basic manicure. And um, basic pedicure is $25. So, um, Shep and I, we were able to afford that um, this time, thank God. And so, um, I had a manicure, and Shebby had a pedicure. I usually do Shebby's pedicures myself, but um, we're, I'm still insulating the cabin, and I've been busy with that. I'm in school, and... You know, with the everyday cooking and cleaning and building the ranch and everything. So I hadn't um, given Shabby his pedicure that I usually do um, once a month, sometimes twice a month. So I thought it would be a good idea since it wasn't too expensive. And um, it's a very, even though it was just a basic manicure, I mean, uh, for Shabby, it was a basic pedicure. It was very thorough. A lot, you know, a lot of massaging, a lot of moisturizing, a lot of scrubbing, exfoliating, and um, I can tell Chevy really enjoyed it. Chevy, um, when we lived in Hampton, Virginia, um, I used to give, um, I used to take Chevy to um, the um, spa on a regular basis, and um, he would get 
pedicures and I, I always knew that he liked them but where we live in the mountains we're not near anyone so we're not we, we're not near any shops or anything and we don't spend too much time in Presidio like I said but um, and plus everything is so high in Presidio because um, when we first moved um, here in Texas um, in the mountains I you know Presidio is 20 miles south of us and so I checked to find out what are the um, prices there there is one um, beauty supply beauty salon there that do manicures and pedicures and things like that and everything and to my surprise you know I would you know I thought everything would be a little cheaper but because they're like the only tiny establishment for um, I would probably say almost a hundred miles most things in Presidio are the little city of Presidio we have the county but I'm talking about the little city of Presidio that's um on the very tail end of America most of the things are very high and um, in some cases two three times higher than where, where you would find elsewhere but um, the pedicures there or let me see the manicures there was she, the lady told me um, her name was in Emma, Elma. She said the manicures were thirty five dollars, and so that's like I should have stopped right there because that's a manicure is sort of like the cheapest thing you can get at a beauty salon or any type of spa, um, and I believe the pedicures were like forty five or something like that so I just thought that was just kind of you know really expensive and here in Alpine like I said and I'm gonna I don't have the um I can't remember the name of the place but they're very nice people and um complimentary um soft drinks and wine I had me a glass of wine since it was New Year's and everything and um it didn't cost anything extra and it was just really nice and um they um so yeah and so also i get my eyebrows waxed for the first time in a very long time and that was really nice but they oh and plus the the eye waxing the eyebrow waxing was only ten dollars so um you know all together chef and i spent fifty dollars and so that was really nice and it was a it was really refreshing because like I said I really needed a manicure Chevy was overdue for a pedicure and it was relaxing we had to wait a little while because um, I guess you know the first of July a lot of people um, well not a lot of people but you know some more people um, decided to come in and treat themselves and everything but it wasn't a long wait and um, mm -hmm. so yeah the first day of 2020 was really nice for Shabby and I. Um, it's really nice to have um, some pocket money. I, I would say um, my father used to say, my grandfather used to say, um, you know, even if you're not rich, um, or even if you're very poor, you know, just to have some pocket money, enough money to do a little trade, you know, you know, if you need to. Um, I think America is becoming very frugal. <laughs> which um, for good reasons but um you know so if you live below your means as, as much as you possibly can and um you know just to have some pocket money so you can you know not splurge and spend a lot of money you know on a regular basis but just to you know so you can buy you some breakfast in the morning or have a, a you know a sandwich or go to the grocery store and get what you need to make sandwiches that's even more frugal if you're trying to you know really stretch um shabby now yesterday that was sort of like a you know a holiday thing for us so we were sort of like in party mode so you know we did a little splurge and i mean not really really but i mean we um had dinner at pizza hut and that's not something that we do every day and in fact we didn't spend that much money at pizza hut um i got a personal pan pizza which was less than five dollars and um shabby got barbecue chicken wings that was um i believe it was like 13 14 dollars so we spent like right at 20 dollars at pizza hut but um 
you know that's not bad at all you know especially since you, we don't mm -hmm. do it every day and when we found the alaskan um rv park here um you know it, this was a great find because we come to alpine on a regular mm -hmm. basis and i really don't want to mm. spend a lot of money on hotels um mm. there are a couple of hotels like in the 50 dollar range one is rather nice um but most of the hotels are uh, like in the hundred dollar range um 150 dollars 180 dollar range per mm. night mm. Woo! 